So let me spit some game to y'all real quick. Let me put y'all on. When you have a calling on your life, when you have an anointing on your life, when you are meant for greater things in your life, and you have the the dope personality to go with it, you got the drawn personality to go with it, you are going to attract so many different people to you. And everybody is going to want to be your friend. Now, when you have this type of personality and you are genuinely being who you truly are you are your authentic natural self personality on 10 there's nobody else quite like you you are just that girl you are just that guy and you know it and everybody around you know it you are going to attract real people fake people and everybody in between it just comes with the territory it is up to you to use your discernment now sometimes um our discernment can be a little knocked off, which is why we have to stay prayed up and ask the Lord to renew our discernment daily. Because when you have this type of spirit, this type of personality, everybody going to want to be in your face. And everybody going to want to be your friend. And everybody cannot be your friend. Everybody cannot go where you are going. It's just not going to happen. Okay? You got to stand on business when it comes to you. And you have to not, you cannot play about you and your anointing and your calling. Because wherever you go and you have this spirit and this personality, people going to want a little piece of you. Everywhere you go, people are going to want a little piece of you. I'm telling you. It's, it's, it's exhausting sometimes. This is why it is very important very early on to ask the Lord to reveal to you who people are. Ask the Lord to show you their hearts. Say, Lord, show me their hearts. Show me their spirits. Show me what they got going on beneath the surface. And I kid you no lie, God will reveal everything so you go see and know every single thing, okay? This is why it's very important to ask God to surround you around people who have their own things going on, who have their own anointings, their own callings, their own ministries. They have their own things going on because that way they'll be so busy and consumed with their kingdom assignments that they don't have time to be jealous over you. They don't have time to be focused on you. They don't have time to monitor you. They don't even have time to be jealous. They just don't have time because they're so focused on what God has told them to do. That's very, very, very important, okay? And pay attention to people who want to be your friend really, really quickly. People who really want to be your friend really quick want to hang out with you real quick because they see you so cool. You have to watch that. Friendship is a process and it needs to go slow. It don't need to go fast and super quick. Mm -mm. Friendship is a process. We have to grow over time and get closer. We, I have to figure out who you are. You have to figure out who I am. I have to learn things about you. You got to learn things about me. I got to see what you about, baby. Right? When people want to be your friend really, really quickly and when people attach to you very quickly, uh, uh, you have to check that in the spirit, okay? And get in the habit of letting people know that they have no access to you. I'm sorry. Sometimes you're going to have to stop texting people. You're not going to be able to answer the phone all the time. You're not going to be able to be on the phone with these people all day. You have to let people know very early on they don't have access to you like this because people will always come to you. Hey, hey, can you help me with this? Can you do this for me? Can you And it's like, oh, no, because she'll help me. She'll, she's a woman of God. He's a man of God. I can go to him all the time. Why do you feel like you have to keep going to man all the time or a particular person all the time? When do you turn to God? Huh? Right. Okay. Right. You don't have to keep going to that person over. At what point in time do you go on a prayer? You go on a fast and you ask the Lord to get you together. You, you, don't, you have to be very careful of people who always come to you. It's something is not right. You mean to tell me you didn't go on a prayer and ask God to help you with that? Mm -mm -mm. So keep your circle very, very small and ask the Lord for revelations of every person that tries to come into your life and enter into your personal space. Many are called, few are chosen. Okay, many are called, few are chosen. Jealous spirits are a real thing. Envious spirits are a real thing. Destiny swapping is a real thing. All right, we have to be really, really, really careful. All right, okay. I love y'all. God bless y'all. And as always, I will see you in my next video.